Hello again, I'm Joe Leone and this is another 18xx training video. There are two topics hotly debated in the 18xx community. The first is poker chips and the second is what the best game is to teach 18xx with. This video explores the top five games used to learn 18xx. If you disagree, let me know in the comments. While you're there, remember to like and subscribe if you find these videos helpful. Number 5 The Granddaddy of 18xx Games Designed by Francis Thresham, based on 1829. It was the first published in 1986 by Avalon Hill. After 35 years, it is still available from Lookout Games and is by far the evergreen of the 18xx genre. All other games are compared to 1830. According to its box, it is for 2-6 players and plays in 3-6 hours. It features 8 companies with a 12k bank, 2-dimensional stock market, large map, and 85 track tiles. It is a stock manipulation revenue game driven by train management. Very sharp. It is number 5 because if you learn 1830, you can play any 18xx. This game was my first experience with 18xx. I would recommend having a teacher. That being said, any title can be used to teach 18xx if you have an enthusiastic teacher. Also note that it is free to play on 18xx.games. Number 4 1846 Race for the Midwest Designed by Tom Lehman who also designed Race for the Galaxy and Res Arcana, published by GMT Games. This is probably the second most popular 18xx title, designed for 3-5 players and plays in 2-4 hours. It was first published in 2005 and is still available from GMT Games. It features incremental capitalization, a private company draft, linear stock market, and a variable start based on player count. With multiple stock price jumps based on the company's payout, it is a revenue game driven by train and route management. It is number four because of its variable start, draft of privates versus an auction, smaller map, more generous towel set, and that you can literally play the game hundreds of times. It is also available for free on 18xx.games. Number three. 18 Chesapeake, The Birth of American Railroads Designed by Scott Peterson and published by All Aboard Games This game is relatively new, being published in 2020 and is designed as an entry point to 18xx. The game supports 2-6 players and plays in 2.5 to 3.5 hours. It also has a dedicated 2-player variant included in the game. 18 Chesapeake features full capitalization of eight companies, two-dimensional stock market with limited par values and a shallow yellow area. A map that is 60% the size of 1830 and an $8,000 bank. Being designed as a gateway to 18xx, it teaches the basics of 1830 with many of the sharper edges smoothed over. The smaller bank and map allows it to be played much quicker than 1830. Small changes in the rules, such as lowering the price of trains, minimizes the brutality of the train rush. Still a stock manipulation and revenue game, this game is number three because the smaller map and bank gives you an 1830 feel in about half the time, while minimizing premature ending of the game due to bankruptcy. Additionally. The two-player variant allows learning the game without a full table of players. This game is available for purchase from All Aboard Games and available to play on 18xx.games. Number 2 18MS Railroads Come to Mississippi Designed by Mark Derrick Originally published in 2015 as part of 18 Dixie a standalone version has been published by All Aboard Games in 2020. This is a shorter 18xx style game 
that is useful in teaching some basic concepts to newer players. This title captures the flavor of 18xx but plays much faster. There are only five companies and it's for a maximum of four players. It plays in about one and a half to two and a half hours. It features full capitalization, a very small map, and generous tile set. The two-dimensional stock market is very shallow, but it teaches the mechanics of how prices change due to operations. This is number two on the list for the following reasons. The auctions in 18xx games are player balanced, which requires experience as to the actual value of the companies. This title removes the difficulty with a private company draft. One private company is drafted by each player in reverse order. This means the player with the least choices of major companies will get the best choices of privates. The second thing is the program train rust and predetermined game length. This is a good stepping stone from Euro style games into the wonderful world of 18xx. This is the game to get if you do not have a group of experienced players. 18ms allows one to learn from the rulebook and play ensuring the pace of the game does not get bogged down due to not pushing trains. Personally, my favorite game to teach 18xx to a group of players. 18ms is available from All Board Games website and available on 18xx.games to play. However, you will fairly quickly outgrow it, which leads us to our number one game as an entry point to 18xx. 1889. Up until recently, this game has only been available in print to play versions or handmade copies from Deep Thought Games, All Aboard Games, or Golden Spike Games. But there is a Kickstarter coming out. Josh Starr and Grand Trunk Games will be kickstarting a mass produced copy. The campaign starts December 11th, 2021. I have placed a link to the preview page in the show notes. This game is very similar to 1830. It supports two to six players, has a 7K bank, seven companies. It is a full cap game with a waterfall auction and a two dimensional stock market. However, the smaller board and smaller bank allows it to be played in less time than 1830. It is not just for beginners. This game is difficult to play well. For the neophyte, it will be a revenue game. However, as your experience grows, so will your understanding of its depth. For example, 1889 has the same number of trains as 1830, with one less company. This could result in a train management issue. With only seven companies, there are 14 train slots in phase five. So only one or two companies will control when the next rusting event occurs. This could result in the three and four trains becoming permanent. This is a feature that allows you to manipulate the game state and benefit or become its victim. Mountains, coastline, lack of tokens, and the towel set make blocking revenue centers challenging. For example, there are only two sharp curves. Use one of them and this setup is not possible. The largest revenue city is in the mountains allowing or forcing your opponent to pay 80 yen to build or upgrade it is a challenge. This game is available on 18xx.games and soon on Grand Trunk Games, so give it a try. It was the first 18xx game that I owned and it still hits the table. We are living in a time in which a large selection of 18xx games are available. To learn more, I suggest visiting both the Train Shuffling and Will Tapping Podcast YouTube channels. I hear the conductor. That means it's time to go. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and a comment. Until next time, have fun training.